Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name's Matt, and what I wanted to do was start a uh, a little video series on you know recording the song that I came up with uh, back in 2009. It's uh, and what basically what I want to do is go from the total conception all the way through the whole process to mastering and share with you my process of doing it and hopefully I can help out somebody out there and maybe people watching this will um, can uh, maybe post some stuff and with some new ideas as we go forward and uh, I think it will be some fun and really cool uh, this song is uh, called The Journey I wrote it back in 2009 it was a uh, it was, you know, my mother passed away in 2009, and I was reflecting a bit, and uh, one day I was sitting in the living room with my guitar, and I just came up with the song. In a matter of hours, I had the whole thing written with lyrics, and all I did was I, uh, I just recorded the idea into an app I had on, a, on my smartphone, just so I'd have it, and, and you know, all the years have passed. And I decided to record it. And I thought, yeah, let's have some fun with this. And, you know, one thing I want to say is, with all this technology out there, it's really cool to have, uh, you know, they have the apps and, and little recording apps. If you're a drummer, a singer, I don't care what musician you are. It's great to have these, uh, these, uh, the ability to just record an idea in a moment's notice. And then you have it. And what you see here today, you know, what I'm going to show you is exactly what I did. I had an idea. I just hit record on my, uh, my smartphone and I recorded the idea. And here we are three years later and I'm going to record it. It's so cool. So what I did here is this is a, th this is a four part song. There are four parts telling a story. And I just blocked it all out. I took my acoustic guitar and uh, I set up a click track and I recorded it in real rough. But it's it's in time. Uh, you can check it out here. You can hear the click track. It's uh... So, and I have the vocals, uh, you know, real rough vocals in there, but it gives me the, the idea of where I want the song to go. How will this culture affect me? Just real rough. And I recorded a, what, what you see here is exactly what I did in, in my smartphone. But I had to play and sing it in at the same time. But it gave me a rough draft of, of the, the harmonies I was thinking of. Things can be changed, of course. But the, the whole purpose, the, the start, is just this guide track, which now is, has, I have down uh, recorded in Reason. And um, I can kind of figure out the timing and have a direction. I can, I can lay down my drums on, on, you know, play the drums to this. And I'm not just, you know, playing to a click track. And that's a great start when I uh, do my songs. So let's, uh, let me show you how I put in the tempo. There's a tempo change in this song. Uh, the ones in blue are 85, but the one here in, in orange is uh, 65. I'm gonna show you how I do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down here to where it's tempo, I'm gonna I'm gonna right click here. And I'm gonna edit the tempo. Then I'm just gonna go press the you know you can press W on your keyboard. It's faster. And I'm just gonna draw out a tempo map for the whole song. Let 
Now I'm going to double click in here and press W and uh, click. And I know from here to here, we'll say, I'm just going to, now I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to highlight this little value here. I'm just going to put in uh, 85. And I know it's, it's 85 to here. Click in there, 85, boom. Now I'm going to press the W on the keyboard. I'm going to put in another value here. I'm going to drag it up to here. And I know at that point I want it to go to uh, 65. Press W, and it can go to 65 till here, you know, let's say, go up here, 65, and I'm just going to make one more value here, and bring it where I want the change. Oh, it's right at 85. Okay, so there's my tempo map for the whole song, and uh, now, oops. Now you can see, you can listen to the click. Uh, why did I do that so far here? Here. Watch right down here. See that? It just, <laughs> it's really easy to put in a tempo map in uh, Reason, and I just showed you how to do it. It's ridiculously simple. And so now what I have is I have. The song, the journey, all recorded, and uh, for as a guide track for me to start the, the the production recording of this song. And what I did was I uh, I bounced everything down to a stereo track. You don't have to. I choose to, because what I can do is I can get rid of. I can just delete these two tracks here. Um, the tracks, yep, and I'm going to delete, delete this track, I don't need it anymore, delete tracks, and now I have my guide track with uh, the tempo map all set out, and I can start recording my song, and in the next video, we're going to what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through each, each part of this four-part song and record each part. And we'll work on part one in the next video and uh, see, see exactly how we're going to add our drums or if our percussion or if I even want percussion. We'll look at that and see how we should go with it. Okay? Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.